Okay, hello and welcome everybody. This is Kazan187 back again. Now we're going to be covering a mod review or impressions video for the first order, which is for Total War Attila. Now this actually brings the units from Medieval Kingdoms. The, I forget the, the AD version of it, but basically there's a one on Mod DB, which is outside of obviously the Steam Workshop version, which has all these units. You've probably seen it on other people's channels like Warriors Sparta, Rambler. Etc. Etc. There's quite a few people done content on it, but basically he's taking the units from that and obviously put it into the first order. Now the first order is a like Attila horde kind of type of faction, so obviously they cannot settle. Well, I think no, saying that I think they can settle, but you start off with a migrating faction and then you can settle. So um, these take over for the Alans, but obviously now they're called the first order because obviously it's Crusades and stuff like that. So I'm going to quickly read this over. I'm going to quickly show the units they've got in the multiplayer battle menu. And then we're going to go on the actual campaign map, recruit some units, maybe have a quick little battle, see what they're like. And then just go from there. So we can obviously see the units in, in action, really. So we're going to quickly read this over. So we've got Faction Leader, Respudial, Religion, Aryan, Christian. And obviously we start off in the Black Sea. Or Caspian Sea, sorry. No, Black Sea, sorry. And then, from hundreds of years, the bloods of kings have been one of the most guarded secrets of the Roman Empire. Known only to the higher echelons of power and spoken only in the whispers, the blood of kings is the direct lineage to some of the history's greatest figures. Albeit from unconventional sources, the main branch of the king's blood is almost entirely bastards. The Senate began acquiring the disregard, disregarded offspring of the political figures. Let's move this down so we can read the rest. Initially to use as political leverage to keep certain uh, political entities in check. This over the years and generations changed from blackmail programmed to a grand fault experiment. The idea was the brainchild of Gaius Julius Hyginus, 64 BC to AD 70. Gaius was a pupil and of the famous Cornelius Alexander Polistor and superintendent of the Palatine Library, a position gained to him by Caesar Augustus himself. Having witnessed to the rise and fall of many great men, Gaius knew what that truly held the empire together was armies of slaves. It was authority. The power of, to sway the empire seldom lay within one man, but when it did, mountains are moved, cities are built, enemies are crushed. When the empire was of one mind, even the gods would tremble. He gambled that so he gambled that so long as the blood of a great man was flowing through the veins veins of the empire. Heroes, heroes could rise to defend and unite. Never could Gaius have predicted the peril the empire would endure. The empire is divided both in the literal and spiritual sense, beset to all sides and rotted to the core. The time has come for the bastards of the king's blood to claim their birthright, save the empire and earn the name in history like the fathers before them. So obviously this is going to be like the Holy Crusade type of thing. It's going to be based in the same map as before. We'll obviously see the campaign map in a minute and see what it's like. And we're going to quickly go over multiplayer battle. Uh, let's do custom battles, right? It's cool, it's been ages since I've played it here. There we go. So, we're going to play... We can find them. The first order. Now, there's going to be quite a lot of units. We've got Kingsguard. We've got the nice little unit cards here. Preceptor. Lord Commander. And then we've got Spear Infantry. Spear Men at Arms. Chaplains. Constables. Halberders, Sergeants, Spear Sergeants, Spear Knights, very cool as well. We've got Pike Sergeants and then Pike Men at Arms. Middle Infantry, you've got Peasants, Christianized Tribesmen, Sword Men at Arms, Squires, Sword Sergeants, Battle Sisters, Black Knights, Warhammer Knights, <laughs> let's go, cool. Sword Knights and then Paladins. For Axe Infantry, we have Axe Men at Arms, Axe Thrower Knights and then Axe Knights. By the infantry, we have Christianized Tribal Longbowmen, Bowmen at Arms, Longbow Sergeants, Longbow Knights, and then Bow Knights. Crossbow Infantry, we have Crossbow Men at Arms, Crossbow Sergeants, Skirmishers, Javelin Men at Arms, Javelin Sergeants, and Sentries. Melee Cavalry, we've got Mounted Men at Arms, Border Guards, and Mounted Sergeants, or Surgeons, but pretty much the same thing. Mounted Knights for Shock Cavalry. Mounted crossbow sergeants for 
crossbow cavalry, skirmish cav, scout men at arms, and scout sergeants or sergeants, warhounds, woodsmen, uh, naft thrower, so holy hand grenaders. Oh my god, that looks so cool. We'll have to see them at some point. Siege engineers, and then craftsmen, which is obviously ballista and stuff like that. So quite a lot of units, to be perfectly honest. I think this is probably one of the biggest unit roster we've seen today outside of the vanilla Attila. Obviously most of them are normally reskins. Obviously this has taken the units from the Medieval uh, Kingdoms mod that's already been out for a while. And obviously they keep updating it. They've worked to coincide with the guy who made this, or the team who made this. So obviously they put these units into the game, which is pretty cool. Obviously, if you guys are interested in seeing battles, just a multiplayer or custom battle with these units in depth after this video, then leave it in the comment section below, and then obviously I'll try and do, get some footage of these against maybe like the, the Romans or something like that. I may try and play a bit of a campaign in the stream, potentially. If not, I'll just play it off camera myself, but obviously get some footage of that. And we might as well go into the campaign now, and we're going to see where they start off. Uh, what units you can start off with, funds, etc, etc, obviously you're going to be raiding and pillaging first of all and then you can settle after that, that's how it's generally going to start, kind of like the Visigoths, Lost Strogs, same thing really, but obviously they've reskinned it as first order set of the Allens. Okay guys, I'll see you all on the campaign map. Okay, hello, and we are now on the campaign map. So you start off with two forces, this is pretty much the same as the Allens, they just reskinned it, so Allens faction, so imagine that. Obviously we've got the Huns over in the east of this faction here. Uh, they were a minute ago, I just saw them. But we're going to move these guys down which have mounted men at war arms, mounted knights, crossbowmen and then scout sergeants. We can increase this. Uh, industry, communal grounds. It's the same principle so bear that in mind with that. And um, what can we get? We can get pike men at arms, sword men at arms, bow men at arms, crossbow, javelin, mounted men at arms, and then scout men at arms. We're probably gonna see if we can buy. We need good fighters. Death in battle, there is no Couple of these. Do it for one turn, uh, we wanna show this off in battle quickly, a couple of the units. Same for these guys. What have we got already? So let's throw another mounted. It's a good life. Excellent armor piercing damage. Just to get a couple of these chaps. We'll wait two turns for these guys. We can probably attack some of them. Obviously the usual civic and military tech trees as you can see. We're just going to quickly go for that. But obviously like I said we're going to only quickly do this. Let's see what the family is like as well. So we've already got General Respindle from Darcia. She needs a husband and he needs a wife. Let's put these at small council. And then we've got King's Guard, Petty Lords, Master of Warfare, Grand Meister, and then King's Hand. So obviously this is obviously going towards the medieval age. I um, assume the other factions stay at the same. And it looks like they may have changed some of the names for these. Romula, Syrian, Syrian, blah, blah, blah. Petra Dava is the same. The Wind Hunters, Albia is the same. I don't think these are the same, these two settlements. And we only haven't got any agents. Start off with 6,000 and then we obviously had a bit of money as well. Not a great deal, but we'll move these guys down in a second once we've built some units. And then we're obviously going to have a quick little battle. I'm going to zoom in some of the units we've got. Obviously it's not the, the whole range of them, but like I said, leave in the comment section below and I will do some content of an actual battle, like a full-fledged battle between one of the factions of what you choose as well, maybe. So you can have the Eastern Roman Empire, you can have the Franks, whatever you want. Uh, factions encountered, Frungans, Antians, Gepids. Oh, let's check. Uh, this is pretty much just the Allen. So, so all the Eastern Roman Empire. Lazica, Nabatia, Vandals we are friends with, We've got military alliance. Okay, let's start moving these chaps down. Get moving. Moving down to here, we're probably not going to be able to attack that settlement. And uh, if we're going to do this, we may as well. Uh, do we need any pikes? 
We don't need scouts. We've got a couple cavalry. We've got some shock cavalry as well. Let's build another crossbowman and then another sword. Let's keep it that because we need to do it in one turn. Okay. And then we'll break camp and then we'll start moving. Might attack Petrodava. That might be the best place to do it. We've got a few more units on this side of Lang. Plus it's not a capital or province capital. So we can obviously just go for the normal settlement. And we had to take them out. It'd be really cool to see what these units look like, to be perfectly honest, the main thing. Loyalty, okay, let's... Obviously, I'm not, not really gonna... Most likely gonna win it, but... Okay, we've still got standard mercenaries, obviously that's not gonna change. Mercenary on a guard, we could probably go with that. Uh, let's go for the singers. Let's make it so we've got full 20, 20 stack. Let's care war. Okay, let's see what these guys are uh, in action. Okay. Yeah, so it looks like it's just obviously this faction which has changed. We'll quickly group these up, see what they're like, and then... Well, they look, and that'll be the end of the video, guys. Obviously, if you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. I'll be doing content for Total War Warhammer. Once that comes out, I'll be doing a Let's Play of one of the factions for it. But either, most likely, the Vampire Counts or the Chaos Warriors. Uh, I'm not going to do the other two first, unless it's going to be a live stream for the campaign. Also, this Friday, I'm going to be doing a live stream of XCOM 2, as it is out. I've pre-ordered it, so I'm gonna, once that's all installed, we're going to be doing a live stream of that on this channel. Also, if you haven't done so already, I have a secondary channel, which is for first-person shooters, mainly Destiny and now The Division. Uh, it's called Dr. Destiny. It'll be in the description box below. Go check it out. And then subscribe for that. If that's the type of games that you play as well, or you're interested in. Let's go see what these guys are like. And some of these units would be later on as well, which is pretty good. So in this army stack, we've got a couple that which we can't actually build, but they're still in the army stack itself. But we're facing against a pretty basic type of army stack from the enemy. Some spears, a couple axes, skirmishers, actually quite a few skirmishers. Let's see how our bows go towards that. Let's wait. I want to have better conditions so we can see. Let's do it in dry. Let's see what these men look like. Okay. Let's move these guys back so we can see them in their full glory. Okay. One of them is like a bloody camel rider, but it's obviously the crossbowman. There's just a... Uh, Group these two together. One's scout, one's a crossbowman fella, and then we've got these guys as well. And obviously, like we said, it's more likely to see him a little bit better in the multiplayer or custom battle map. Right, then this is very cool. So we're going to go into cinematic mode. These are very, very good. I am liking this. And these are probably the men at arms. We've got the guys who are carrying the banners with the shields. We'll go over the unit types in a minute. It's just a quick run through what they look like. And we've got some more horses over to the right hand side. These guys got chainmail and they've got like the English kind of helmets on that the longbowmen used to have. They're very similar to that. These are probably the scout riders, I would assume. These guys, chap these chaps here. And these are sh some of these are probably the shock cavalry, I'd say. We'll go over that again in a second, though. And now we've got some... Probably, again, some more shock. And these are the archers. The oh, sorry, javelin men ones. These are very good. I like these. The chainmail one. Very, very good. And what have we got here? Guys with shields on their back. So we'll find out what they are in a minute. 
They're all very, very unique, and I like him. That's pretty cool with his mace as well. That's a crossbow, my man's. Okay, let's quickly move out of this. So these guys here are the mounted sergeants over on the left-hand side for the shields. This is the scout sergeants. Obviously, they were going to throw some javelins. This is the mounted crossbow sergeants. Okay, so where's the crossbows then? Is it on the back? Okay, you can actually see it in their hands. So you can see it, they're holding it in their left hand. Now this is the cream of the crop. This is the heavy shot cavalry. These are the mounted knights. Yeah, they are very, very good. Obviously same unit here and same unit there. Scout men at arms. I think this is what the previous... Oh no, these are actually different. These are ones with less armor. They're not as sturdy. The mounted men at arms medium same again for here got quite a lot of cavalry with this first army stack these are the crossbow men at arms okay that makes sense now you know some of these do look quite similar but they've changed it around as well this is more Attila-esque I'd say out of all the units we've seen so far crossbow men at arms crossbow men at arms and then we've got the sword men at arms again very light they haven't got a hell of a lot of armor but these are basic obviously later on in the campaign you probably have a lot more than that but i think that is it guys okay i hope you enjoyed the video like i said if you're new to the channel please hit the subscribe button if you liked what you have seen then give the video a like and then tell me what i said before previously it what faction you would like me to face against and if you'd like me to have a, a full-fledged battle or the, all these units obviously especially the top tier ones the, the knights all the top tier versions of these in the battle okay guys i'll catch you all in the next video. Bye-bye.